In the last video, we saw how to add refs to a normal HTML element like the input element. Let me tell you, it is also possible to add a ref to a class component. Let's take a look at an example in this video. I'm going to start off by creating a new file called input.js. Within the file, I'm going to create a class component using the React snippet RCE. And I will remove the named export. Now this component is basically going to be an implementation of what we learned in the previous video. So in the JSX, I'm going to add an input element. Input type is equal to text. And in the constructor, I am going to create a ref using the create ref method. So this dot input ref is equal to react dot create ref. Next, I will attach this ref to the input element using the ref attribute. So ref is equal to this dot input ref. Now we can focus on the input element in component did mount, but for this example, we don't want to do that. Instead, we want to create a method that will in turn focus the input element. And that method will be called by the parent component. So in input.js, right after the constructor, I'm going to have a method focus input. Within the method, this dot input ref dot current dot focus. And that is it for the input component. We basically have an input element and a method focus input which when called will focus the input element. Now let's create the parent component for this input component. I'm going to create a new file and call it focusinput.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the React snippet RCE to create a class component and I will get rid of the named export. In the JSX, I will add the input component that we have just created. And with that, I will also add a button with the text focus input. Now what we want to achieve here is when we click on the focus input button in the parent component, the input element in the child component should receive the focus. And we achieve that using refs on this input component. Just like the last video, we have three simple steps. In the parent component, which is focus input component, we are going to create a ref using the create ref method. Step one, in the parent component, which is the focus input component, we are going to create a ref using the create ref method. So add a constructor and then create a property, this dot component ref is equal to react dot create ref. Second step, we attach the ref to the component. So on our input component, we are going to add the ref attribute and then attach this dot component ref. The final step, add a click handler to the button and within the click handler, call the child component method using the ref. So on click is equal to this dot click handler, which can be defined right after the constructor. Click handler is going to be equal to an arrow function. And within the body, this dot component ref dot current which gives us access to the input component and then we can call the focus input method. Now this focus input method is of course defined in input.js right here. All right, let's go back to app component and include the focus input component. So instead of refs demo, include the focus input component. If you now save all the files and take a look at the browser, you can see that we have an input element and a button right below it. If I click on the button, 
the input element receives the focus. So in special circumstances, if at all you need a ref to a child component from a parent component, know that it is definitely possible. The component, however, has to be a class component. Refs cannot be attached to functional components. Please do keep that in mind. All right, that is how you attach refs to DOM elements and also class components in React. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.